Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Life with Spike. Today I just wanted to have a little brief update on my solar panels. The reason I'm mentioning the solar panels is I'm curious, will dirty panels significantly decrease the amount of power you make? Or is it just a minimal impact? So today we're gonna test that theory. I have some very dirty solar panels up there that I'm gonna go clean and we're gonna see how much of a difference it's gonna make. I'm gonna put the recording overlay the video so that you can see it while I'm washing it and after it's done, after it's dry, everything like that. We've got three solar controllers and one of them, which is the top one, is going to be the two front solar panels. Now the very bottom solar controller is going to be the rear 200 watts. I've got three solar panels. They're all 200 watts. And the other one in the back has a different voltage as well. So I decided to just keep it safe, make sure I can get the most power out of those solar panels as I can. I just decided to get two controllers and their network together. I've also got two solar inputs on the side where I can plug in another 400 watts. So that's why you see so many controllers and the reason why I have them. So let's, uh, let's get started. From what I can see, it looks like I gained maybe eight watts on the rear panel. And the front one is still kind of cooling off a little bit, but so far I've gotten 12 watts out of it. So is it a significant change in solar power? No, I think, I think it needs to be much dirtier for it to be a significant impact. I think it needs a good cake layer of dust on top of it. I really don't think leaving a little bit of dust on your solar panel is gonna impact anything. I think it's just better to save your Windex, your glass cleaner, your whatever you're using to clean your solar panels just for another day when it actually is dirty. Now I, I can't really tell, but it looks like the sun is pretty much in the same kind of overcastish, cloudish, but it's not a lot of impact. And I'm sitting at 287, 286 watts, and before it was 267. So yeah, maybe 15, 18 watts on the front panels. Yeah, maybe, maybe 15 watts on the rear panel. The rear panel was, I think, a little bit more dirtier, so I think I got a few more watts out of it. But the two front ones aren't too bad. There was a tiny little corner with a little bit of dirt, but it wasn't significantly impacting the solar input. So there you have it. There's your conclusion. There's my experience. Future Spike here. I just wanted to cut in here and let you guys know that I did make a few mistakes in this video, but I did correct them with little highlights, and I still do stand by my opinion. It also depends on how often you drive in the back country. That will also determine how often you clean your solar panels. So if you're out in the back country traveling on forestry roads, you're gonna be ending up cleaning them every two to three weeks. But if you're not, and you're in, say, the city, and you're just traveling on pavement, you might only end up cleaning them like every two months, so. There you go, hope that helps. Back to you, uh, past Spike. Hey, this is relative information for van life, or if you're buying a van and you wanna know how often do I need to clean my solar panels? There's your answer. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace.